Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Marlon from Fishing Addicts Northwest. Since we're right in the heart of the buoy 10 season and the fish are really, really starting to come into the river, I thought I'd give you guys a little, uh, a little video on how I brine my herring. It's not rocket science. Everyone has their own way of doing it. This is the way that I've done it for years. It's a, it's a pretty simple little method, but at the same time, I do add a couple little ingredients to it to kind of spice up my brine. So let's go over real quick how I brine my herring. So first off, obviously you're gonna start with a tray of herring. I don't like to have mine completely defrosted. I like to have them a little bit frozen, but you don't want them to be too frozen to where, see like that, when I when I pulled the tail off, it ripped one of the scales off. Basically, you want them right to that point where they're still nice and cold, a little bit of ice on them, but you don't want them to be sticking to each other to where you're ripping scales off of the herring. So once you open your tray up and you kind of get all the, all the herring loose off of here, just be real careful that you're not ripping any of the scales off. Keep them real nice. The first thing you're gonna do, I like to cure mine, whoops, I like to cure mine in Ziploc bags. A lot of people do them in jars. There's a ton of different ways you can do them, you know, little plastic containers. I found that the easiest way for me is just get a gallon freezer Ziploc bag. It seems to cure real nice in there and even in, inside the bag. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, I, I've been using the Procure Brine simple everything's pretty much already done for you aside from some little additions that we're going to make you know it says no mixing no measuring all that kind of stuff this is the new guide size that they make so you can get a few to, a few cures out of this bottle um, it's available pretty much at all your all your local sporting goods stores you can find it anywhere i prefer the natural shine i'm a real natural kind of guy so i like to keep my herring looking as natural as possible so that's that's why i use mainly the natural stuff I will play with the greens and stuff every once in a while, but I really like the natural shine. So we're gonna start with this first. Just open that guy up, and what we're gonna do is pour just a little bit in here for now. Um, maybe fill the bag a quarter of the way up or so. You can always add more, you can always add a little bit more afterwards, but you know, fill it with that, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our ingredients. So I like to add just a little bit of extra salt to my brine. And the reason I do that is I just, I like to have my herring just a little bit more tough when they're in the water, make them last a little bit longer. And honestly, I don't know how much, you kind of just gotta play with it and see, you know, where you get that nice hardness to your herring that you like. So I just got this coffee cup here and I'm just gonna pour it. The coffee cup's all the way full. I'm gonna pour about, you know, a little, a little bit less than half in there just to give it a little bit of extra, extra salt. Kind of mix it around in here in your bag. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few drops of this, uh, Procure makes a bait bright. And all this is gonna do, there's already brightener in, in the, in the brining complete, but what I'm gonna do is just add just a little bit more, you know, just a few extra drops to kind of make sure that that herring's real, real shiny. You don't need a lot, you literally can just go one little squirt and that's all you really need. One of the other things that I like to add is just put some more uh, um, <clears throat> bait enhancements and stuff in there. I use this Monster Bite. Some, another product that Procure makes. Just a little extra, you know, kind of separate yourself yeah. from the pack out there. You know, there's a lot of people out there fishing buoy 10, so the more you can separate yourself from, from the crowd, the better. So this just gives you a little bit of extra enticement on your bait to help those fish want to snap on it. And you don't need a ton of this, just, you know, kind of sprinkle a little bit in there. You don't need a ton, just barely any at all. And then all I do is I, my last little addition to my brine is I add three to five drops of the pure anise oil. I really, really like anise in my cures. It seems to, from my experience, from what I've noticed, it definitely helps with my bite ratio. So they got this nice little handy dandy dropper. We're just gonna put, you know, three to five drops in there. You do not wanna put much. This stuff is potent, potent, potent stuff. So be careful how much you put in there because you, you can definitely overdo it on this pure oil. Now we got pretty much all the ingredients that I'm gonna throw in there. We're gonna shake this around, get it nice and, nice and mixed up. Next thing you're gonna do is add your herring. 
lot of people wear gloves and all that jazz. I'm not a glove guy. I don't know that it matters, but if you want to wear some gloves, go ahead and put some gloves on. <clears throat> so we're just adding these to the bag. And as you can see, it looks like I probably need just, you want to make sure that all your baits are completely covered. So probably going to need to add just a teeny bit more of the, the brine here. And that's it, you're good to go. These are gonna fish extremely well. They're gonna be super durable. They're gonna have all those little extra enticements that you need. I like to do this the night before, so right before the day I'm gonna go fishing, I'll cure up my brine, put the herring in the fridge and let them sit overnight, make sure it gives them enough time to, to soak up all that brine and make sure that they, they toughen up. Another thing that you can do when you get out there, say you like, you're like, crap, I forgot to brine herring, and you get out there in the morning, Another little trick that you can do to kind of make sure you harden them up faster is you can pre-cut them when you get out on the water. So go ahead and get out on the water. You know, you got your bag of cured. Do all your nice cuts, get all your cuts on your herring done, and then put them into the bag with already having a cut in them. And that'll help them brine a little bit faster. You know, the, the brine can get all up in the herring and everything. So it works well. All right, everyone, so that's how I cure my herring. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different things that you can do to add to it or you know, take things away, you know, just experiment, you know, try a bunch of different stuff until you find something that really works for you. I will say that this brine has worked extremely well for me in the spring and in the fall. So it's a, it's a good all around brine to use if you're just getting started or even if you've been fishing for 10 years, it's, it's worth trying because it has worked really, really well for me. We really appreciate all your guys' support and thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down in the right hand corner or left hand corner of this video. I can't remember where it's at, but subscribe because we got lots of more videos coming. If you haven't checked us out on Facebook, do that. It's Fishing Addicts Northwest. Give us a like, and we'll see you guys on the river. Thanks.